that room. Yeah, I, I see it now and then, empty with the doors locked. No, now they're they're unlocked. There's a there's a sign on the door for rent. That, that, that's, that's ridiculous. Three, three deaths you said. <coughs> One man and two women. Yes. Well, well. Did he kill himself? <laughs> he didn't have the guts for that. As a matter of fact, he was run over by a tram. A silly sort of end. But I was living with him. He was my cousin. And was Florence there? Fair? You know, I don't regret a thing. Still, I'm not so very keen on telling you the story. That's all right. So you grew sick of him. Oh, God, yes. Like, all these, so all sorts of little things used to get on my nerves. Like, he made this, uh, this gurgling sound when he was drinking. Trifles like that. He was pathetic, really. And then? And then the tram did its job. I used to remind her every day, yes, we killed him between us. <laughs> I'm rather cruel, really. For six months, I claimed away in her heart till there was nothing but a cinder, and one night she got out of bed, turned on the gas stove, and crept back. So now you know. Well, well. And now it's your turn. What have you done? I told you, I have the notion, not the foggiest. That's right, then, then we'll help you. That fellow with the smashed face, who is he? Who do you mean? You know quite well who we mean. The man you were so scared of seeing when you first came in. Oh, oh him! Oh, he was a good friend well, of mine. Well, then why were you so scared of him? Well, that's my mistake. Did he shoot himself on your account? Of course not! How absurd you are! He did! He blew his brains out! That's how he got his face smashed, isn't it? Please don't do Because of he you! He shot himself because of you! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! It's not fair you bullying me like this! I want to go. I want to go. Oh. We'll go if you can, but unfortunately the door is locked. You're hateful. Both of you. Hateful. <laughs> That's the word. Now get on with it. The fellow who shot himself on your account, you were his mistress, right? Oh, of course she wasn't. He wanted to have her alone to himself. That's so, isn't it? Oh, he danced the tango like a professional, but he was poor as a church mouse. That's right, isn't it? But was he poor or not? Give a straight answer. Yes. He was poor. Oh, and, and you had your reputation to think of. Mm. He implored you to run away with him, but, but you laughed in his you face. You laughed at him and he killed himself. <laughs> you two have it all wrong. He wanted me to have a baby. So there. And you didn't want one? Of course not. But the baby came, worse luck. So I went to Switzerland for five months. And no one knew anything. <laughs> it was a girl. And, 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 and Roger was with me when she was born. Oh, he was pleased to no end having a daughter. But it didn't please me. And then? There was a balcony overlooking a lake. And I brought a big stone. <coughs> he could see everything. He was crying, Estelle, for God's sakes, please don't. And I hated him then. And then he saw the, the rippling in the water. Yes, and then? Well, that's all. I came back to Paris, and he did as he wished. You mean he blew his brains out? <laughs> it's really silly of him. My husband, he never suspected anything. Oh, how I loathe you. Estelle, you mustn't be angry with me. I'm not angry with you. What about me? Are you angry with me? Yes. <laughs> well, Mr. Garson, you have us in the nude all right. Do you understand things any better for that? I wonder. Yes, perhaps a trifle better. And now I suppose we start trying to help each other out. <laughs> I don't need help. Inez, they laid their damps there so cunningly, like a cobweb. If you make any movement, if you raise your hand to fan yourself, Estelle and I feel a little tough. Alone, none of us can save himself or herself. We're linked together. So you can take your choice. Well, what's happening? They've rented it. The windows are wide open. There's a, there's a man sitting on my bed. My bed, if you please. Yeah, step in. 
Step in, make yourself at home. And there's a woman too. She's going up to him, putting her, putting her hands on his shoulder. Why don't they turn the lights on? It's getting dark. Now he's gonna kiss her. But that's, that's my room, my room. I, I can't see anything, but I can hear them. What's that she said? That, that it's noon and the sun is shining? I must be going blind. I can't see anything. So I'm done with the earth, it seems. It feels so, so empty, desiccated, really dead at last. All of me is here in this room. What's that you were saying? Something about helping me? Yes. Helping me to do what? To defeat their devilish tricks. Oh, and what do you expect me to do in return? To help me. It only takes us a little effort, just a spark of human feeling. Human feeling, that's beyond my range. All the same, suppose we try. Florence was fair. Yeah, a natural blonde. Don't you see? This young woman is fated to be your torturer. Perhaps I've guessed it. It's a trap! They're waiting to see if you're going to fall yes, into it. you're another trap. Don't you think they haven't foreknown every word you say? You do better to watch your own interests. But if you'll leave me in peace, this child in me, you'll see I don't do you any harm. Very well. Please, Garson. What do you want of me? You can help me anyhow. You want help? Ask her. I implore you, Garson. You give me your promise. Please, I don't want to be left alone. Help me quick. Olga's taken him to a cabaret. Taken whom? Peter. Oh, who's Peter? Now we're dancing together. Oh, such a silly boy. He called me his glancing stream. Just fancy. He was terribly in love with me. Ah, Olga's persuaded him to come out tonight. Do you love him? Oh, what a foolish woman to insist on dancing. But I dare say if she does it too. Reduce. But no, 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 I do not love him. He's only 18. I'm a baby snatcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, why bother? What difference does it make? He belonged to me. Nothing belongs to you anymore. No, no, he was mine. All mine. Yeah, he was yours once. But now try and touch him. Try and make him hear. Olga can touch him, talk to him all she likes, rub herself against him. Yes, yes, just look at her. Pressing her big fat chest against him. Oh, my poor little lamb. Can't you see how ridiculous she is? I mean, why don't you laugh? Is there really nothing left of me? Nothing. All that you own is here. Not that paper knife. How about that thing on the mantelpiece? This blue soap is yours, and I, my dear, am yours forever. <laughs> you. Mine? Well, that's great. Well, which one of you dares to call me his glancing stream, his crystal girl? You know too much about me, and you know I am rocking through and through. Peter, dear, think of me. Think of me and, and, and fix your thoughts on me and save me. I mean, just look at her face, old scarlet like a tomato. Garson, if you could see her, you would just die of laughter. What? No, no. No, 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 do not tell him that. Do not tell him about that. Take him, you can do whatever you want, but don't tell him about that. Fine, fine, take him. Isn't it foul, Garson? She told him about everything, about Roger, about Switzerland, about the baby. Estelle wasn't exactly, no. It wasn't exactly true enough. The lights are dimming down now, as they do for tango. Why is the music playing so softly louder? Please, I can't hear. That's it. That's the end. The earth has left me.